take time to look at the good things God has done. Name them one by one. See the good things that he has done. Where he got you from and where you are right now. See that the journey has been hard and that it has not been your strength but God who has protected you all throughout. Recognize that it has been God who has been breathing life in your body always. Even when you were sick, he's the one that healed. Even when death was looming near, he protected. So tonight, just give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Because he is worthy. In this journey of life, he says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He says he'll be there until the end of the age. And not only that, he says he will grant you all good things that you need. is a good God.
with thee. I am nothing without your presence, my Redeemer. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. I am nothing without your presence, my time walk with me walk with me i am nothing without your presence my redeemer walk with me Hallelujah. We worship you, oh God. Hallelujah. Church, let's take a minute to just appreciate God for His faithfulness. 
oh all from the rising of the sun till now not only just this day from the day the lord has called us to his kingdom more than beyond that even from the time we were born into this world before even we were born when we were conceived in our mom's womb the lord has been so faithful to you and i that's why tonight we can be here the enemy try to finish us enemy try to eliminate us and i will thought we will not see to die but tonight we are here we have a reason to say lord you are faithful you are faithful you are faithful in everything oh jesus thank you lord when we walk through the valley of the shadow of the death the lord you have been faithful when the enemy surrounded us oh god you have been faithful when we were moving in the abundance oh god you have been faithful to us when we were weak you have been faithful to us you made us strong oh you made us bold you provided everything according to your riches in glory thank you lord thank you holy spirit father tonight as a house of prayer family we surrender our lives before you thank you lord for being with us this far oh god even to see the even to be, take us to the middle of now but 2022 oga oh that is your faithfulness alone oga oh we have nothing to boast we have nothing to talk it is only through your grace and your faithfulness so this evening as we sit at your feet oh god we pray god special faithfulness and grace be upon us oga oh especially we remember our elder mary sambesi yoga who is not feeling well oh god today tonight in this miracle night service we declare oh god you shall visit her and she shall testify yoga we pray for any of our house of prayer family member we may not know who is not feeling well wherever they are we pray god's healing power upon them people in our shop pray those who are going through the various needs so god we pray god you will bless oh jesus tonight speak to us tonight speak to us when we leave this sanctuary we will be blessed transformed revived filled with the glory of god our miracles we will carry in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen and amen please take your seat praise the lord and good evening church praise the lord the lord is good all the time and that is his amen can we put our hands together just appreciate to god for this wonderful evening look at your neighbor if you can see somebody wave at that neighbor and say my brother my sister you are blessed tonight in jesus name amen hallelujah when we are in the house of god there's joy there's fellowship there's blessing may god bless you may god bless you hallelujah amen anyone here with a testimony i don't want anyone here with a testimony may god bless you hallelujah that doesn't means we don't have anything we are alive itself is a testimony tonight we are here in this miracle night service that itself is a testimony may god bless you amen tonight we are blessed to have our own pastor peter chileshe he is going to share the word of god with us amen let's put our hands together welcome pastor peter to come and share the word of god amen greetings in jesus name let's buy time let's have one number let's lift jesus this evening praise god let's lift jesus this evening we lift it up
Hallelujah. thank you this evening. We pray that you alone have your way in this place. We thank you as we listen unto your word that you bless us together in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We pray. Amen. Thank you so much.
Praise God. What a lovely evening. Um, uh, I want to share with you on uh, the subject that I've entitled Standing Fame in Christ for Supernatural uh, Victories. Standing Fame in Christ for Supernatural uh, Victories. Um, I, I've been uh, thinking and I've been sharing when given an opportunity by Reverend uh, mostly, uh, I, I, I tackled on the victory side. Um, I shared mostly on how to uh, have the victory, you know. Uh, last time I shared on uh, worship. The other time I shared on uh, trusting the Lord. Uh, some trust in chariots uh, and some in horses. But our trust is in the name of the Lord our God. So I shared something uh, concerning trusting the Lord, even for victories. Uh, I believe that uh, the year is about to elapse, and uh, we need still to trust God. And I'm, I'm beginning uh, to think through, I've been thinking through um, what we can do uh, before the victory, you know. Uh, what can we do, what we can do before the victory, you know, how do we access uh, the victory, okay? Uh, how do we access the victory that we have been talking about? Uh, uh, and, and the Bible says standing, uh, simply uh, talks about standing firm in Christ for supernatural uh, victories. What should you do in order for you to have the victory? What should you do? And I'll, I'll take, uh, uh, we'll look into the word of the Lord in Colossians, Colossians chapter, chapter 2. It, it has some, some things that will help us to have the victory that we want. In order to have this victory, there are things that we have to do in order to live a victorious life. Amen. There are things that we need to do in order for us to have a victorious, a victorious life or to, have, uh, 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 to stand firm in Christ for supernatural uh, victories. In order for us to have supernatural victories, there are things that we need we need to do. And the Bible reads, Colossians chapter 2, I'll begin from 6 to 7. As you therefore have received Christ, Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him. Number one, walk in him. Verse 7, rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith as you have been taught abounding in it with thanks, thanksgiving. Now, the Colossian church are mainly about being rooted in Christ. And so, standing firm has to do with not changing your position. Let your S be yes and your no be no. You have to stand firm, not to be moved. And so, uh, uh, Paul is telling the church, so today I just want to forget about I'm not going to, to, to talk on establishment, to be established in faith, but I'll, I'll really talk on being rooted, how we can access the victory. Number one, we have rooted in Christ. Paul is telling the church uh, the Colossian church to be rooted in Christ. So for us to have the victory in Christ, there are things that we need to do as the church. There are things that we need to work on as the church in order for us to have supernatural victories in Christ. What are these, what are these things? We need to be rooted in Christ, standing firm in Christ for supernatural victories. We need to be, to be rooted. I'll come and explain a little bit about how we can be rooted. But how can we be rooted? Number one, I want to look at for you to be rooted in Christ for supernatural victories, you need to do one thing. Mind your company. People that you are found with. I had a conversation with the young man, one of the youths. Uh, I was telling him the things that triggers 
if you have got a problem with alcohol and then you are concerned the ekole angada the place that you, you are passing every time it's a place uh, uh, where they sell alcohol you are found with people that uh, 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 drinks the drunkards you are found with them every time how can you be rooted in Christ it's by mind minding your company who is your friend who you who, 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 who is that friend of yours that uh, you know uh, one thing that I've come to believe is that uh, uh, so I had a friend of mine and uh, uh, you know along the way people started uh, discovering that I, I sound like him I talk like him it's because we were all in, in one place being together everywhere so this is one thing that uh, that, that, that will help us to be rooted in Christ is to mind our company because the Bible says uh, a bad company corrupts good, good morals. So for you to be rooted in Christ in order for you to have supernatural victories, mind your company. Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse, uh, verse 33. But, uh, but, but company corrupts good morals. You know, friends contribute to us positively or negatively. We need to mind the company. Friends that we have found, are they adding value to our lives? Who are they? Are they adding value to our lives or they're destroying us? Are they helping us? Are they sharpening us? Because uh, yeah, this, this has to do with uh, the Proverbs, which, uh, which talks about, about uh, uh, sharpening one another. Because when I'm found with you, I'm sharpening you in another way. Amen. So we have to mind our company, people that we are found with. Minding the company will help us to be rooted in Christ for supernatural victories. Uh, check out people that you are mingling with. Are they adding any value unto your progress? Are they helping you in your spiritual life? Are they adding any value? What kind of company are you entertaining in your life for you to stand strong in Christ and to be rooted? Mind your company. Before the year elapses, you have to think through how many people are adding value unto your life. Are they taking you forward? Are they encouraging you in your spiritual growth, in your walk with the Lord? Are they helping you? Mind your company for you to stand firm in Christ. You need to be rooted and mind your company. When you mind your company, you'll be rooted in Christ for supernatural victories. Amen? Another thing that we have to do in order to be rooted in Christ so that we may have supernatural victories. I had... Uh, we are the very powerful uh, worship leader back in Kasama, our church, a panel assembly. Uh, very wonderful brother, fire for Jesus. Now the point is that for you to be rooted in Christ, embrace the heart of fellowship. Fellowship is very important. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, do not neglect the habit of uh, meeting together, especially as the, as the day is approaching. Fellowship is very powerful. Have you observed that an animal which is alone, it gets attacked easily? So this is the brother. One time I met him. We stopped attending church services. So uh, I, I met him in town. I said, but I haven't been seeing you uh, at church for, for some time. Then he said, wow, I, I pray. I'm with Emmanuel. Oh, really? There's a Kasama called Emmanuel. He said, no, 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 no. My services are on TV. I don't go to church. Fellowship is very cardinal for your spiritual growth. For you to be rooted in Christ, you need one another as believers. The Bible says the church was praying. They were in one accord. Fellowship, when we are together in prayer, believing God, things happen and it helps us to be rooted. And we can access the supernatural victories because we are one and praying, calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus in prayer. How pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. The Bible says there, God commands a blessing. It's when we are together, there is a blessing from above. The Bible says, He commands a blessing. What's this? He doesn't, we don't have to ask for a blessing. God Himself commands a blessing. When we are together like this, one another lifting up the name of the Lord Jesus. This will cause us to have 
supernatural victories because I need you, you need me in prayer. Amen. Let's not neglect the habits of fellowship. It is very important. And I pray for you as the church, as Reverend has been announcing time and time for cell groups. Cell groups will help you to grow because when it's preaching on Sunday, you are not going to have a chance to lift your hand and ask what it means. In the cell groups, that's, when, that's where we can grow. Okay? It's very important for us. I pray as the church that we are going to impact on the cell groups which will help us to grow more and more in Christ Jesus. So, being rooted in Christ, you need these things. You need fellowship. As believers, there's nothing like, I watch TV home, uh, Pastor, uh, I'll listen to this preacher. This preacher is my favorite. I want to go to church. There is nothing like that. Physical gathering is very important. One of these days, I'll preach about why it is important to attend church. It is very cardinal for us to attend the body of Christ because physical gathering is very important. It is biblical. There is nothing you staying home alone and watch TV and listen to sermons. It's very important to listen to sermons. But physical gathering together on Sunday, we lift the name of the Lord. Miracle, night service, we come like this. God surely commands a blessing. Are we together? Praise God. And so the Bible says, as therefore have received this Christ Jesus, walk in him. As you therefore have received Jesus, so walk in him, rooted and built up, and established him faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. It will help us. Another thing that will, help, that will help us to be rooted in Christ, to be rooted in Christ in order for us to access or to have supernatural, uh, supernatural uh, victories. It's the heart of uh, faith. Faith, for me, I'll say, it's relying on something. While relying on something, and this something is God. Uh, during my counseling uh, week, I was, I was, I was, I was, I had a conversation with one of the youths. You know? But this is what I said. If you think about my life, everything that I've prayed for has come to pass. I can assure you, I can tell you, and I'm telling you the truth right now. It's not everything that I've prayed for. I've seen it coming to pass. The Bible, in the book of Hebrews, if we can, we can just, 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 just read. Hebrews chapter 11. Now, because of time, I'll say this. Hebrews chapter 11, it's talking about the heroes of faith. So for us, even if we don't uh, read no problem for now because of time. Now, I want to talk about a little bit about the heroes of faith. In order for us to have supernatural victory in our walk with the Lord, we need to be rooted. And for us to be rooted, we need faith. Faith simply relying on something, and this something is God. But I like Hebrews chapter 11. I like how it says. It says... When you read down there, it says, when it talks about the heroes of faith, it says, whatever they believe God for, the heroes of faith, Abraham and others, it goes on and, on and goes on. It says, they didn't receive what they believed God for. They didn't see, they didn't receive. But the Bible says, they saw it from afar and saying, because God is able, they saw it from afar. Afar. They all died believing that him who has promised is able. They saw it from afar. But they all died without getting what they asked and believed God for. We are children of God. We need to have faith like a mustard seed. There are things that we have been believing God for. And yet they 
is coming to an end. We haven't seen even any sign. But I came to challenge you. Better you trust God. Have faith in him like a mustard seed. Knowing that even if there is no sign, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or imagine. Him alone, he is a faithful God. He shall bring it to pass. The Bible says the promises of the Lord are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. He who has called you, who has called you is faithful and he will bring it to pass. He that has begun a good work my life he will bring it to pass to completion we need to encourage one another we need to encourage us even when there's nobody to encourage us we need to lift our soul and say god is faithful we will believe in you need to keep the faith within you that god is able and faithful to do it in your life faith let's lose everything but let's just remain with the faith that god is able to do it in our lives the yeah. is almost coming to an end. I don't know what you have been asking God for. And it's like there is no sign. And you have been play, praying and crying that, Lord, if just this happens, this is my promise. Come just to encourage you and challenge you this evening. Do not lose your faith. Your tomorrow is greater than today. Your tomorrow will be greater than today. If God is so sovereign, if you just open a bit of a curtain and see what he has for you, you can be shocked. But believe him because uh, as faithful even if you don't know the way where you are going. Have faith. Be rooted in Christ by having faith for supernatural victories that the Lord will fight for you and you live a victorious life. Amen. For you to be rooted in Christ, for you to, in order for you to have supernatural victories, you need to be rooted in Christ by Embracing the heart of prayer. Prayer is very important in our Christian walk with the Lord. If you want to see a backslidden church, the only weapon that the enemy will use is to attack the life of prayer. If the enemy wants to discourage you, you attack the life of prayer. You as believers, in order for you to see supernatural victories in your life, be rooted in Christ by embracing the heart of prayer. What is prayer? Azimba, Tamal Zimbabwe, that's the topic we are looking at at one time, five, six years ago. About prayer. As a prayer is communicating to this person. And this person who is God communicates back to you through his word. We need to embrace the heart of prayer. If there is something that is important and that the enemy is using, it's the weapon of prayer, targeting the weapon, targeting the church. If that you want to see a man a backsl backsliding, you want to see the church backsliding, it's the weapon that the devil uses is just to frustrate people and to discourage prayer warriors. So embrace the heart of prayer. Prayer is very, very important for your spiritual growth. For you to be rooted in Christ so that you may have uh, a supernatural victories. Embrace the heart of prayer. There are things, some of us, that we have seen now. It's because we were praying 10 years ago. Some of you are praying, you were praying 15 years ago. But some of the things you have seen this year, the Lord has opened doors for you. Do not neglect the habit of prayer. Prayer is the key. Prayer moves mountain. Let everything fail. But let prayer stand. Keep praying. When I was a teenager, there were two words. It was P-U. P-U-S-H. Pray 
God said, pray until something happens. Even if it doesn't happen, keep on praying. The Bible tells us, pray without ceasing. And in everything, give thanks. It is and says, in all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will, not your will, but this is the will of God in Christ. We need to embrace the heart of prayer. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your pastor. Pray for your church. God is looking for a man who can stand in the gap. Prayer warriors. I'm looking for young people who are going to, who are going to stand and pray. In my walk with the Lord just as a youth, having alone. I wasn't waiting for overnight. Alone. I encountered things. One time I'm praying. I was zero, zero two. Our church just got an offense. The caretaker there. So too I'm praying. I look at on the window. Oh, I saw a strange young lady. I said, what's happening? Then I realized this is a spiritual battle. Somebody was asking me, did you see her with your spiritual eyes? It was physical. Physically, I saw her on the wind. But what I'm trying to tell you is that if you are facing any challenge, any battle, spiritual battle, physical battle, embrace the heart of prayer. Even before the air ends, at least have fellowship with the Lord in prayer. Be rooted so that you may see supernatural victories. You can't see supernatural victories if you neglect the heart of prayer. Prayer is the key to supernatural victories. When I was, I was invited for a dinner when I was out of the country. After eating, and I said, Mama Bishop, with the family, let me just pray for you. And she started narrating a story. True story. She said, son, this church, if you ask any doctor, any potential in this country, rich man, who is saved, they'll tell you, I got saved from that church. But this is the history of this church. The first Asian pastor was sent by Pentecost Assemblies of Canada. Here. As they were driving with the wife, they were involved in a car accident. On spot, they both died. And they left their three daughters. I said, Where are they? Well, they are still here. Others, two of them are married. The other one is, uh, is at the university. But this is what happened. Then, Pentecost Assemblies of Canada sent another pastor, different race, though, to be a pastor there. Something happened, car accident. They both died with the wife. The third pastor, something happened. They died in a car accident together with the wife. And we are now here. This is what happened, son. We rushed a lady who was our member. She was about to give birth. We left her at the hospital. And when we were coming back, we were involved in a terrible car accident. We were taken to the hospital. The church rose. Like in the book of, uh, of, of, of Acts. The church prayed earnestly. They said, we are breaking this spirit. These are not going anywhere. They will live to testify the goodness of the Lord. To cut the story short, they said, we didn't know if we can survive. But by the grace of God, that spirit was broken. And that, 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 that case, it was broken. And here we are, by the grace of God, serving the Lord in this church. Prayer. Does wonders. I don't know. 
We live in different families. I've got things that I'm praying for for my family. That the Lord may come through. It has to be upon us a burden. Do not be comfortable because you are saved alone. It's time to say these are not going to hell. You have to rise in prayer and claim lives. Amen. It takes the heart of prayer. We're about to, to conclude. No, no worries. Paul tells them. Six. As therefore you have received Christ Jesus. So how in him rooted and built up in him. Established in the faith. As you have been taught. Abounding in it with thanksgiving. For us. To be rooted in Christ. There are things that we need to do. In order for us. To have the victory. In order for us to have the victory. We have talked about prayer. Just now. We are being saved. Time and time. We have been manipulated time and time. For you to be rooted in Christ in order to have these uh, supernatural victories we are talking up about. You need to have to embrace the word of God inside you. For young people, the Bible says, how can a young person keep his life pure? The Bible says he can do it by hiding his word. Your word in my heart. I've written your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. One thing that is going to help us in order for us to have to live a victorious life or to access supernatural victories, we need to be rooted. How? By embracing the word of God in our hearts. Thy word is a lamp unto my, my, my feet and a light unto my path. Joshua was told, meditate upon this book of the law day and night. Let it not depart from your mouth. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will stand still. My word is solid. Whatever the Lord has said about your life, it is final. His word, everything we see will pass away, but the word of God will remain still. We need to impress the heart of the word of God. Let us not neglect the word of God. This is the final authority. When you have the word of God inside you, you are not going to be deceived, manipulated easily because you know what is written in this book. You know what it says about your health. You know what it says about breakthrough. Everything is lapped up. It's all wrapped up in the word of God. We just need the word of God to run with the word of God because everything that we see, it's temporal. But the word of God is our sure hope. Let us run unto the Lord, believing him that his word, every promise, it's in the Bible. All that you need, it's in the Bible. It's all wrapped up in this book of the law and it shall not depart from your mouth and you shall meditate upon it day and night you will flourish because of the word of God Paul is telling the church the Colossian church because they were false teachers they were manipulators he said dear children be rooted in Christ and in order for us to have this victory Supernatural victory. We need the word of God. How did Jesus overcome? He said, it is written. Because the word of God was inside him. As the church, for us to see victory upon victory, to access supernatural victories, we should embrace the word of God. It is the final authority. What I say, it's not final. But what I said, it is final. The Bible says, 
Whose report will you believe? Would you believe the report of the doctor? Would you believe the report of your boss? He says what he has said, he has said it. The promises of the Lord are yes and amen. Whose report can you believe? I will believe the reports of the Lord. And where is the report? This is the report of the Lord. It talks about everything that concerns your life. What concerns my life? How shall I the Lord? living. I shall not die. The Bible says, so what you have said about my life, that's possible. It is final. I have to hide his word in my heart so that I don't sin against him. It is only his word that will give me direction for tomorrow, for the future, for today. I need this word. This word is final. God bless you this evening. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we blessed, the church? Standing firm in Christ. Hallelujah. Walking, living in Christ. Rooted in Christ. Uh, continuing the fellowship with the Christ. Being rooted in the word of God. Thank you, Pastor, for challenging and encouraging us. Shall we all stand? The Lord has spoken to us. The Lord has spoken to us. The Lord has spoken to us. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And to the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and spoke to us so God. Hallelujah. In Colossians chapter 2, hallelujah, verse 6 and 7, then Ivy says, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with the thanksgiving. May God build us today, hallelujah. As we are almost approaching towards the end of 2022, the victory which God has guaranteed, the supernatural victory which God has promised is our portion. As the man of God reminded us, it is by faith. You might not receive everything tonight. You might not have everything tonight. But one thing is assured, brother, sister, dad, and mom, victory is guaranteed from the throne of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Father, this evening, Evening, we totally surrendered to you. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. Once again, reminding us, oh God, still need to stand firm in Christ. Lord, we need don't we don't need to neglect the gathering of the brethren, oh God. We need to be specific whom we are associating, whom we spend our times, whom we hear, oh God. Lord, we are thank you for reminding us the importance of well rooted in your word, well built in your word, living in Christ, oh Jesus, focusing on your faith, oh God, hallelujah, and uh, spend the parting time for prayer, oh Jesus, communicating with you, oh God, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, we give all the glory, Lord, as we go back, take us home tonight, oh God, we cancel any form of evil attack, accidents, calamities, sickness, the remaining days of the week, you will preserve all of us under your wings, oh Jesus, any form of sicknesses, accidents, premature your death from our generation of house of prayer family we paralyze it father if it is your will and second coming is delayed Sunday 9 o'clock you shall bring us together we pray for pastor Peter ministry he's a minister God bless him refresh him use him mightily thank you Lord thank you Holy Spirit now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you richly. Have a blessed night. See you on Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Oh, 9 o'clock. God bless you.